Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Stephanie. And for today's video, I am going to be flipping through this new Happy Planner Simply layout. This has been sitting on my desk for about a week and I've kind of teased it on some of my videos about how I plan to use this. So I do have two ways. And so I just kind of want to do a quick little flip through and then we can talk about it. And so I haven't had a Happy Planner in so long and apparently they have new packaging and I love the black here. So let's go ahead and flip through this because this has all of like the general information. So it says 12 months from July 2023 through June 2024. So the classic simply layout. And I believe this is exclusive to just Walmart. So yeah, just go ahead and keep that in mind. And then if we go inside of here, it says this simplified layout includes a side-by-side -side weekly design that will allow you to see your plans to weeks at a time and so that is exactly what drew me into this whole planner and layout so let's see so i guess there are two designs out there so i definitely picked up this one because of the clear discs and the cover is so pretty right so here is the inside i love this teal color right here very very pretty um let me see i did have some scissors here but i think my kids were here earlier and i think they took it so let's just kind of do this instead okay so here we have the name page i love this right here it's so pretty and so then we have 2023 and 2024 year at a glance and then we have a little bit of space here to draw anything down and then we dive right into like the currently page so no like perpetual calendar and so I've actually never even used that part of the planner so yeah it dives right in and so we have top priorities here one through three and then important and we have grid and then take note and we have lined um like a line section over here and then we're going to have um any holidays down here at the bottom here is july's um divider you got this i love this right here and so then we flip to the monthly view we have grid over here and then just like some polka dots down the spine so very neutral and i love that about this so then we get to the layout so as you can see there is no actual like dashboard part of this layout because if you remember this was the dashboard layout so essentially you're getting the right side of the dashboard layout and not the left so that's how they're able to get two weeks at a glance so i actually really love this i am like seriously obsessed with the fact that you can see two weeks at a glance so yeah this caught my eye right away so we're gonna have week one week two week three week four and then week five and then we get a notes page over here and then we're gonna do it all over again so here we have the august divider here we have the monthly and again we go into the week so week one week two week three week four and week five so then we get a notes page and then we get the dashboard again and here is september this is the good life so here we have october make yourself proud november the journey is just as important as the destination here we have december january every path you cross can change the direction of your life and then um, February, trust the process. And so here we have March, life is as good as you make it. And then April, keep dreaming, May, and then we get June, this is your year. So very beautiful dividers, right? So let's take a look over here. So the monthly view, week one, week two, and then we have week three and then week four. And I believe that is the very last day on the 30th, which lands 
on a Sunday. So then that's when we get two notes pages because there's not an extra week back here. And then another notes page. So what do you guys think? I am really, really excited about this planner and the layout. I love, love the fact that you can see two weeks at a time. I think that is just absolutely perfect. So what I was saying is that I could potentially use this as a social media planner because if i show you way back in the day here is my happy planner so if we flip through july we can see the monthly view because i was actually using the dashboard layout in july of 2020 as my social media planner i mean that only lasted like a few months but I was using the dashboard layout as a social media planner. So as you can see here in the monthly view, I was writing what video went out that specific day in a um, monthly view. So I am still currently doing this because I just love the monthly view. So I can see all the videos that I have posted for the month. And then we get to the weekly. So this is the page that I am talking about. So let me see if I can show you a blank one. Okay, so here it is. So this page is the page that we no longer have. So all we have is the right hand page, right? So then as far as this page, this is where I was writing what videos I needed to film and then I forget what this part was because I feel like this was the videos that I needed to film. And once they were filmed, I would um, check them off. And then this, I am not quite sure. But as you can see, I didn't have anything here, anything here, or anything over here. So yeah, I think I was kind of just using this page because it was here. Not because I really needed it, if that makes any sense. Because over here on this page where we have Monday through Sunday is where I was placing what videos actually went out that specific day. So here is what I needed to film. And then this would then get transferred over here to what um, video went out that specific day. And then as far as the days, that is where I would write any releases, any Instagram posts, just anything social media related would then go over here. So this part I really liked. So then if we flip the page, here we are again. And so not really much going on over here, right? So lots of like wasted space, I feel. So yeah, here is Monday through Sunday. And then if we flip it, here we are again. Like I said, this is just getting left blank because yeah, I just didn't have any use for it. But then here we have the weekly view. And then here is another example. So yeah, just lots of decoration over here. And then this is where I would write like my to-dos for the day, right? And I believe we have one more. So here is another one. So yeah, I don't know. I just feel like this is lots of wasted space. So yeah, that's how I was using the dashboard layout as a social media planner. So I feel like as a social media like planner, I feel like it's great because you can see two weeks at a glance. So I could be like planning out this week, but already know that something is coming up for the upcoming week. So yeah, I just feel like it's really good because you get to see two weeks at a glance. And I don't think I have ever seen that before. Unless I'm wrong, unless I've missed it. I don't know. Definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, I love this part of it. So I was saying that this could potentially be my social media planner. So let me go ahead and show you what I am currently using as a social media planner, which is my plum paper vertical columns. So if we flip over to January, we have the monthly highlights, we have a notes page, and then we have the monthly view. So I was thinking that if we go back here, so here we have a top three. And then over here in the Happy Planner, we have a top three. So I feel like this information could go over here. And then I feel like this information would then go over here. So this, 
at the very beginning I didn't know what I wanted to use it for but now I have figured that here is where I place any releases um, that are happening for the rep team that I'm on so yeah these ones get filled out right here so I feel like this information could be transferred over here and then we have this right here so this is just like a blank notes page and then i add this cute little header from simply smith stickers and then i create this little like graph and so i just jot down the videos that i'm filming for the month and then what stage of the process i am in in those videos so whether i am filming it um, editing it uploading it the thumbnail the description and if it went live so I feel like this notes page would be back here, right? All the way in the back because we do get note pages at the very end. Right there we have two, but I believe normally we get one. Okay, so here's another two. Okay, I know I saw it, so hold on. So yeah, we would get one week and then we get this notes page. Unless, unless I just want to insert a page because of course it's a system. So I can just simply add a notes page here and then create my little chart and have both of these pages right here, right? Like, doesn't that make sense? I mean, I, it does for me. So I hope it makes sense to you guys as well. So then we get to um, the monthly view. So of course, we're going to get that here as well. We have a little notes section over here and we have it over here as well. And then as far as the weekly view, here is what this looks like. So if I go to a blank page, these are just like columns where I can simply list everything down. So here is a blank um, weekly spread. Here it is all filled in. So I can list everything for the day. So these ones aren't columns, but they are squares. So I feel like I can simply list everything that needs to get done that day. And then over here, I use boxes, circles, just any sort of shape to indicate the videos that go live that day. So just like I was using it before, I would use this section here to indicate what video is going out that specific day. And so then I don't have to worry about boxes, putting them in here because these ones would simply be like to-do lists for that day. So if I flip through this one, you can see that I am just listing everything out. And these shapes indicate the video that goes out that specific day. So yeah, sometimes I don't have like a specific shape in each little column. So I just condense it down to like one box, which is right here, here, and here. Here is another one. And so yeah, I love listing and that is why I love this planner. So, yeah, I was thinking that I could use this as a social media planner, and I love the fact that we can see two weeks on one single spread like this. So, yeah, I really, really like that. But then the other idea that I had was to simply use this as a pre-planning planner. That way, again, I can see two weeks at a glance. And then I can simply plan out my week, but instead of just doing one like specific area, I can cover two because right now um, I have my plum paper that I use as a social media planner. And then I also have my Go Get a Girl daily planner. So these are the two planners that I'm currently using. So if I need to check out what I need to do on a daily basis in my personal life, I take this one out, right? And then whatever I need to do as far as social media, I then pull this planner out and um, essentially I am looking through two planners at a time. So what I thought that I would do is kind of combine these two planners 
and write any really, really like important things that are going out that specific day. So I may have like the kids band concert, but then I also have releases for a shop that I'm a rep for. So I can write those two important things and then I can like distribute this information to each planner. That way I can see it in one planner if I just need to like quickly reference it. That way I know what is going on in my two worlds, right? And so, yeah, I feel like that one is a good idea as well. So something where I can pre-plan, I don't need it to look pretty because the one thing that is like keeping me from using this as a social media planner is the fact that I won't have like a lot to decorate because this is a limited amount of space so i can't really add too many stickers and of course <laughs> that's a problem because i love my stickers and i love playing with them so of course i want to add them to my spread so i think that's why now that i think about it it wouldn't really work as a social media planner and I really really love my social media planner I don't think that I want to give it up now that I think about it and now that I'm looking at it because it is just so pretty and I love it so here is the current week um, of course I did a Cinco de Mayo spread so here it is um, being filled in so as far as this one here is where I write what videos need to be filmed and then once they're filmed and they're live I then transfer that information over here to these boxes and this has been working out so great for me and then I list my to-do list for the day and so, yeah, so here is the spread that I just filmed. So if you guys want to check it out, it's the video previous to this one. And this one is a Mother's Day themed spread. So I really like it. I love the way that it turned out. So the fact that I won't be able to add all of these stickers, um, like in this spread, makes me really sad. Yeah, because that would mean I could only use a few little stickers. And like I said, that's a problem because I love using stickers. And I love decorating a planner. So, yeah, I think I am leaning more towards using this um, planner to pre-plan both of my planners. I hope that makes sense. So, I want to combine both of these planners into one to specific um, like important things. This is not going to be my to-do list whatsoever. So anything really important is going to go here for both um, my daily planner and then my social media planner because then I don't have to worry about um, putting stickers down. I just love the fact that I can see two weeks at a glance. So yeah, I think I have reached a conclusion because I was really on the fence about whether to use this as a social media planner or not. Because like I mentioned, it would work so well. I could make this work and I could add that extra notes page to do my little chart. And then we have the monthly view and then we have this. So I feel like it would be amazing to just transfer information and um, in my from my social media over here but yeah <laughs> I am running into that problem where I can't really use stickers so yeah I'm not really liking that idea so if I can't use stickers I think this would be perfect to pre-plan and then if you're not like a really busy person I think this would be a great layout as well so something to jot things down like really quick minimal stickers this would be great or like a gratitude journal there's just so many possibilities that you guys could do with this one so if you guys have any suggestions or if you have seen this planner if you would like this planner i mean leave all of those down in the description box below because i feel like there's so many uses for this and i feel like this is going to be such a hit i just love this i'm obsessed with it so now that i have reached um like a conclusion of how I want to use it. I am super excited. 
yeah, I was on the fence, but now I know exactly how to use it. So yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think about this planner, this layout, just all of the things. Put them down in the description box below. But for now, I am going to go play with this little planner and see how it works for me. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to check me over on Instagram at Stephanie Happily Plants. And I'll see you next time.